Hello, my fellow photographers. Today, I'm here to demonstrate shutter speed. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about, just give you an overview of the camera settings you need to know about. I'm gonna give you a demonstration of shutter speed, and then I'm gonna to explain to you what shutter speed is. So make sure you tune in through the whole video so you can understand shutter speed as you go through your journey of being a new photographer. So let's get into today's video. And by the way, I am Kid Explorer of Kid Explorer Photography. And here on this channel, I'll talk about all things photography, specifically for beginner photography. So now let's get into today's video. So first of all, let's talk about camera settings you need to know as you start to explore shooting with manual mode. You need to know about ISO, which is your camera sensitivity to light, aperture, which is your depth of field, shutter speed, which we'll talk about today, and then white balance we'll talk about in the next video. Also, just to let you know, you may be shooting on manual mode or trying to shoot on manual mode, but you can always shoot on auto, aperture priority, where you only change the aperture or shutter speed priority. So those are different options of shooting with your camera. Now let's go and get into this demonstration. So let's start off this demonstration. As you can see, my subject today will be this toy John Deere tractor. And as you can see, it's going to be in movement for the demonstration. And then we're gonna start off with my um, settings, my general settings of the camera. So I always start at my, this is my base level settings, one over 100 shutter speed, aperture of 1.8, ISO of 100, and an auto white balance. And as you can see here, just to confirm, one over 100, 1.8, 100, and auto white balance. So let's take a photo with these settings. So as you can see with this photo, it's kind of blurry. It's not 100% in focus, but it is also kind of dark. So let's see what happens if I pick a slower shutter speed than one over 100, which means I'm going to go to one over eight. Let's see what happens. Wow, it's even blurrier when I get a slower shutter speed. But another thing that happens with the slower shutter speed is that the photo is brighter. But now let's go to a faster shutter speed. So we're gonna pick one over 400 for this demo. With that last photo, it looked like the tractor was more in focus, but the photo got even darker. The only way we can combat this is obviously getting more external lighting or to increase our ISO. Because remember, the ISO is our sensitivity to light. We don't wanna increase the aperture in this instance because the aperture is already at the lowest on my camera at 1.8. And if you recall, the bigger the aperture number gets, the darker the photo is gonna get because the lens opening is getting smaller. So I increased the ISO to 400. Still don't really like how the photo looks. So it is a little bit brighter, but not that much brighter. And the focus, the focus of the tractor is still not that crisp. Now, what if I want to blur the whole tractor out. So when you want to blur something completely out, like when you see photos at night where the you just see the car lights, that means they were completely blurred out, which means they had a really slow shutter speed. But that also means you need to combat for other things because when the shutter speed got lower, as you saw earlier, the photo got really bright. We are going to take the shutter speed all the way down to like just four. Not, even, not one over four, just four. So very slow shutter speed, meaning four seconds. Also, when you are working with slow shutter speeds, you wanna prevent camera shake. That means you should have your camera on a solid surface. Right now I have it on a table. I usually have it on a tripod, which it's not available right now, but you wanna have it on a tripod or something solid. And you also wanna use a trigger so your hand doesn't touch it. If you hand hold something at a shutter speed really low, you're gonna have camera shake. Even if you think you're holding it very, Sturdy? No, you're gonna get camera shake. So what to do to combat a very bright photo with a slow shutter speed is to increase the aperture. So we're gonna increase it and turn down the ISO. Let's see what happens. We have, I have a shutter speed of four, an aperture of 20, and an ISO of 100. Let's see what happens. Oh. 
Oh, it's like a ghost. So as you can see, it's almost completely out of the photo. It's like a ghost tractor. It is still a little too bright. I guess I could turn this down some than my external light to kind of help, but it's not completely blown out. But as you can see, it took a long time for it to click. So you need a long, you'll get a long exposure with a longer shutter speed. Now I wanna do one other demonstration. I wanna go back to a faster shutter speed of one over 2000. And I wanna take the aperture to 10 because with that lower aperture, it was obviously focusing on a really small focal point on the tractor, which meant that's why it was still a little bit blurred out. So sometimes you may have to adjust the aperture, which is gonna make the photo darker. But again, you can increase your external lighting or increase your ISO, which I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna bump it up to so 20,000. Whoa. So as you can see here, when you increase the aperture with a faster shutter speed, it's going to make the photo darker. Bumping up the ISO and getting better external light helped it out. But as you can see, since the aperture was smaller, it had a bigger focal point and which led to this to not be blurry. So what is shutter speed? Shutter speed or exposure time is the amount of times the sensor or your film in your camera is exposed to light. The shorter that time, the less light that your camera is getting. And the longer that time, the more light you're getting. And so that shutter speed of one over eight or four were slower shutter speeds, they were longer shutter speeds, and as you can see from the demonstration, there was more light in those photos. But those shorter shutter speeds, one over 100, one over, what was it, 20? No, what was it, one over 2,000? Whatever it was. Those brought in hardly any light, which meant I had to compensate with the lighting from external light sources, exposure, and what have you. Whereas when the slower shutter speed was going on, I had to also compensate for the light with less external lighting or lower ISO or even a bigger aperture. Also with a shorter shutter speed, so that one over 2000 or higher, you're gonna be more likely able to capture things in movement, which is great for people who work with sports or trying to capture a, a car race in action. You want that stuff completely in focus. People want to see the runner crossing over the finish line in movement. But like I mentioned, the slower shutter speed, you're going to blur things that are in motion, whereas stuff that are, you know, the stationary is still going to be in focus. All right, my photographers, I really hope you enjoyed this video and helping you learn what shutter speed is and how to operate it. And the only way you're going to get better at shutter speed is actually going out and practicing with your camera. So I want you to go out and practice and cap try to capture things in movement and try to blur some of those movements out. And let me know how you do in the comment box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is free for you to do so and it helps me provide more and better content to you in the future. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave them down below in the comment box and make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and social media networks. And if you're interested in supporting my photography business, you can head on over to keytoexplorer.darkroom.com to purchase yourself a print to decorate your space. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night wherever in the world you are. Bye.